We, we talk a lot about RTV, but RTV is really just a protocol. It's just a technical standard. Just like HTTP is a technical standard for websites. But when did you hear last time somebody say HTTP? That's a very, very long time ago. I've been in the web, web industry building, I started with building websites back in the mid 90s. And even me, I haven't really never used that term. But with RTB, so, for some reason, we're kind of stuck with that. So I think that what's much more important is that, that there is something going on right now where uh, we're starting to utilize algorithms and uh, different types of bidding strategies to make decisions for us in a real-time environment. And, and just to say about that real-time uh, real environment, what's important is like, imagine if you would want to invest into a company. Let's say you want to invest into Nokia. Maybe might not be the best investment right now, but who knows, given they've been around for 130 years already. So imagine if you had to go to the company itself every single time you wanted to buy that stock. That would be really difficult, right? Why we can invest into stocks so easily is because we have access to them through exchanges, through stock exchanges. And this is really what's happening right now in advertising, is that now we have access to stocks, to advertising, to placements, uh, and people, of course, because that's who we're trying to target, through exchanges. So in an exchange, just like in a stock exchange, we can trade a lot of different stocks. Maybe in one exchange you don't have all the stocks, but because we have trading desks that somehow connect through DSPs, to which I believe actually trading desks and DSPs are really the same thing and later will somehow merge. So now through them we can actually connect to many exchanges. In some cases, if we you know partner with the right companies, to all of the exchanges. So opposed to going to Nokia and buying their stock straight from their headquarters, now you can buy any stock, any time, for any amount. So I think that's what RTV is. So um, why is it important for us? Because of efficiency. So uh, uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, uh, approach, uh, this kind of market structure will bring uh, completely new kind of effic efficiencies I into the uh, uh, into the marketplace. And uh, of course, right now we have a lot of problems. Uh, we have brand safety issues, which are actually becoming worse with RTB. Uh, we have contextual relevance problems, which are also increasing with RTB, not becoming better. Uh, we have uh, a bias towards kind of a crap long tail inventory instead of the premium long, ta long tail inventory. There is a lot of fraud and also we lack transparency. So these are the kind of five things that we need to be looking at when we move to RTB. And if we address those issues correctly, then RTB can be extremely efficient platform or in this case, going back to the beginning, RTB is a technical standard, the enabler that allows us to create those new, kind of mar new kinds of markets. And those new kinds of markets can be highly efficient compared to the previous approach. Let's take ad networks. Ad networks typically take 40 to 60 percent commission. 40 to 60 percent. Now the 40 to 60 percent that used to go to ad network doesn't need to go to the ad network anymore. Maybe, yeah, you still have to pay a little bit of commission to somebody who provides you the access to the exchanges, but it's a lot smaller commission. And <clears throat> that's one example of, of those more tangible efficiencies that are being created. But there is a lot of, that, a lot of things that doesn't really meet the eye that uh, go back to how we now can use machines to make decisions in real time that are very hard for people to make appropriately or correctly even in non-real time environment.